Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 1 to my brand new multiplayer first person shooter series for Unity 5. In this series, we're going to be going over how to create a multiplayer FPS in Unity from the beginning. So, uh, this is not going to be for complete beginners, so I did upload a Unity C Sharp programming tutorial series that you can go check out on my channel. Um, Alright, so let's get started by making a new project. I'm just going to call this Unit Tutorial YouTube. Oh yeah, and do make sure that you make it in 3D because this game will be 3D. I think I made it 2D by accident before, so I just uh, deleted the project and made a new one. Okay, so first we're going to start off by just making a scripts folder. Uh, that'll be for later. And uh, let's just get started in uh, a main menu. So this scene is going to be a main menu. So for the main camera, I'm just going to do a solid color. Make a lighter blue. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to make a scene folder and save the scene in that folder. So I'm just going to call this main in menu. And let's make another scene. And this is going to be our game. So, game. Okay. <clears throat> going back to our main menu, let's create a new. Uh, a new game object and call it network manager and now we're going to add a component called network network manager all right so once you've done that it should look something like this and i'll be going over what all this does now um don't destroy and load just make sure that this component does not get destroyed when a new scene is loaded our uh, run in background means that this um like everything that's happening here will run in the background, which is kind of kind of need that log level. We'll just keep info. Uh, if we have a developer, it'll tell us like um, how many packets were sent um, and things like that. Offline scene, we're gonna t actually we have to go to file and build settings and add main menu to the top and game on the bottom. So when we build our game, uh, zero will be first. So take main menu and put it in offline scenes and game and put it in online scenes uh... network info we don't need to worry about that later just leave it the way it is and spawn info uh... leave it the way it is for now we'll be going into that in just a second uh... yeah also add network manager hud this is going to be temporary it looks like this if you hit play alright so it should look something like this this is um just temporary until we make a nice UI uh, by ourselves. So if I do LAN host, we get an error because there are no player prefabs. So to make a player prefab, we're gonna just simply create a, we're, we're just gonna use the built-in character controller for Unity, so characters, and import. So once that's been imported, go to the standard assets folder characters, uh, first person character, prefabs, and we're just going to use FPS controller. So I'm going to take this, put it out here, and I'm going to make a prefabs folder in our assets folder. So we'll call it uh, prefabs or whatever you want, and I'm going to uh, change his name to player. And yeah, so just put him here. So now he's part of this prefab instead of the other one. Okay, so we can delete this now go to network manager network or sorry spawn info and drag in our player or sorry I have to add a network identity to this game object so go to uh, let's see network add component network identity and we're gonna make this local player authority now what this does is gives this object a network identity on the server so everything needs a network identity to be um, sort of sent to the server I'm also going to add a network transform so that uh, this is also, te also temporary. I'm going to make my uh, my own and we're just going to sync the transform. So what this does is uh, syncs, uh, synchronizes the player to the server and then uh, sends the position out to all the clients. Alright, so save, hit play, and if we do LAN host, we get another error. What is that? What? Oh. 
Did I not add him? Ugh, I forgot to actually add him. Uh, player, now add the player. And then hit play. Uh, land host. And it works. Except we don't have the way to sort of show that. Uh, so I'm going to make in the game a sort of terrain. Or All right, so in the game scene, I'm going to make a plane and scale that up to like, I don't know, 200. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to give this another material because this is um, kind of killing my eyes. So I'm going to make another folder called materials and create a new material in that folder called gray. gray. Put it on here. And let's see. That's good. Y negative. Oops, that's the scale. Let's see. Negative five. That's good. Now, if we hit play in the game scene, it's not going to work. So we have to go to the main menu and hit play. Land host. And we're in, but we can't look up and down. But fix that in a second. Uh, I'm going to put some a cube in the center so we can see where we are. Alright, so scale this up. Oops. Main menu. Oh, and I'm also going to disable the audio listener on this uh, camera. Or we might as well just delete the camera or uh, just make it uh, inactive because we don't need it. All right, so back in the main menu, if I do LAN host, uh, we can look up and down again. Uh, the reason we weren't able to look up and down is because we had um, that main camera. So as you can see, everything works fine. We do have frame tearing. That's probably because we don't have these. No. I actually didn't know that the built-in controller had a mouse lock. Yeah, probably because I'm recording, I see screen tearing. I don't know if you guys are going to see it. Um, okay, so that looks fine. It looks like the lighting hasn't been built. So I'll show you guys how to do that. <clears throat> so I'll show you guys how to uh, build the lighting as well. So if we go to lighting, uh, uncheck auto. I guess it's a bug. I'm not really sure. So back to main menu. Yeah, there we go. Looks normal. Okay, so that's that. We can do stop. And if we build the game, build and run. And I'm going to make a folder in here called build or builds. Build the main. And unit tutorial. Tutorial. We're going to see. All right, let's see if um, multiplayer works. So 800 by 600 window. And all right, I'm just gonna test this out. All right, hosting a server. And let's connect. And as you can see, we have a problem. Both characters are being connected or are being controlled by the client. Uh, one way to fix that is to make um, all the objects that uh, are local to the player only and get disabled on the client that isn't using it. I don't know if that was con uh, confusing the way I explained that, but I'm going to quickly do that to finish up this episode. So in scripts, I'm going to make a new script called uh, network or player network. And in here we're going to have our own... Um, uh, player transform and rotation synchronizing, uh, animation syncing, and things like that. But right now we're going to set up um, just the player with the components that need to be disabled right now. 
All right, so after you have Visual Studio uh, open, just uh, we're just going to need the start method. And I'm going to kind of do this the way I like it to. And we're going to make a few game objects here. All right. And we're going to make a few things to disable here for the player. So on the player, where is it? Uh, prefabs player. I'm going to attach the script. So I'm going to lock this so it stays in the inspector. Uh, scripts and player network. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. And let's begin. So, what are we not going to need? The character controller, the first person controller, the. What about the camera? Okay. And on the camera, here, let's see. Uh, we're going to need to disable the audio listener and the camera itself. So, actually, actually, I'll just disable the camera game object. So, public game object uh, FPS camera, uh, public uh, character controller. Uh, oops, character controller. So I'm gonna call it that. Public um, Unity standard assets dot characters dot first person. <laughs> the first person controller it's gonna be called uh, let's see uh, FPS controller actually instead of doing this I'm gonna cut this and do using all right for uh, for now I think that'll be okay uh, so on start if not as local player Oh, I forgot to do probably the most important thing, and that's making this a network behavior. So, using Unity Engine dot networking and network behavior. So every script we make from now on is going to be a part of network behavior, but that's fine because everything that's in mono behavior is also in network behavior. So your script will still be the same. So I'm going to do in start if not is local player. And we're gonna be doing FPS. Oops. FPS camera. Dot set active false. Character controller. Dot enabled false. And FPS controller. Dot enabled false. What else do we need to disable? Um. All right. Looks good so far. Let's uh, see if it works. So build your game again, uh, shortcut control B, which will build and run, and open in a 800 by 600 window. It doesn't really matter what resolution you use, I just uh, disable the, or apply and delete the player. I should, probably should have done that, I'll just rebuild it. Probably not necessary, but better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to run into any... Uh, Conflictions, if that's even a word. So I'm going to host a server. And we have errors. Oh, didn't attach the, uh, the camera. I forget to do a lot of things. Okay, so FPS camera. Why did I make these public? Uh, I probably didn't have to. I'll do it. Whatever. That's fine. I'll keep it public. Uh, for the player, first person, I'll just call this FPS camera. Alright. And drag that in here. Character controller. Uh, right there. And the first person controller. Right here. Okay, so that should work. Apply, apply, and delete this. See if everything's all right. Okay, I'm gonna build the game now. Host the game and connect. Okay, so it seems to be working. Although we can't see the other player because there is no render 
on that layer. As you can see, he's invisible. So I'm just going to quickly add a mesh renderer or a mesh filter, mesh capsule, and render. And I'm going to want to give him a material, so I'll just give him uh, a lighter gray. So I'll just call this player. Okay. Alright, that's good. So apply and delete, save and build. Alright, so host the game, connect, and there we are. Everything seems to be working just fine. Hold on, let me put this over here, sort of. As you can see, that works just fine. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't want to break it. Oh, oh man, I broke it. Okay, technical difficulties. Okay, so I was trying to. Okay, I had to stop the game there because. Uh, uh oh, well I broke the I broke the game window, but I'll just. Uh, I'll just build the game twice or open the game twice shouldn't be a problem so you know tutorial build build main and then just open two of these host on the right allow access and land client and there we are works perfectly fine As you can see, we can move around. All right, so it is quite laggy, the movement, but the next episode we will uh, fix that. Uh, it'll be nice and smooth. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to stay tuned for the next episode, and have a good one.